The Airbus A380 is a double-deck wide-body four-engine jet airliner manufactured by Airbus. It's the world's largest passenger airliner, capable of carrying up to 853 passengers. The A380 was designed to compete with Boeing 747, which had been the largest passenger airliner for over 30 years. Let's take a look at the history of this impressive aircraft. The concept for the A380 dates back to the 1980s, when Airbus was considering how to replace the aging Boeing 747 in the market for very large commercial aircraft. In 1988, Airbus formally launched the A3XX project, which aimed to produce a double-deck, wide-body airliner that would be significantly larger than any existing passenger aircraft. The A3XX project was a massive undertaking that required significant investment and collaboration between Airbus and its partner companies. The project was divided into several phases, including conceptual design, engineering design, and manufacturing. One of the key challenges of the A3XX project was designing an aircraft that could carry a large number of passengers while still being able to land and take off from existing airports. The A3XX was designed with a wingspan of over 80 meters, which made it too wide for many airport gates. To solve this problem, Airbus developed a unique wing design that could be folded at the tips during taxi and takeoff, reducing the wingspan to under 80 meters. Another challenge was developing an engine that could provide enough thrust to lift the massive aircraft off the ground. Airbus ultimately chose the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 and the Engine Alliance GP7000 as the two engines to power the A380. In 2000, Airbus formally launched the A380 program, with the first flight scheduled for 2004 and commercial service to begin in 2006. The A380 was built in several locations across Europe, with final assembly taking place in Toulouse, France. The first A380 prototype made its maiden flight on April 27, 2005. The flight was a success, with the aircraft performing well during the flight and landing safely. Over the next two years, Airbus conducted an extensive flight test program, which included more than 2,000 flight hours and 800 flights. In October 2007, the A380 received its certification from the European Aviation Safety Agency and the US Federal Aviation Administration. The first commercial flight of the A380 took place on October 25, 2007, when Singapore Airlines flew the airplane from Singapore to Sydney. The A380 was received with great excitement by passengers and aviation enthusiasts alike, with many marvelling at the spaciousness and comfort of the aircraft. Over the next several years, the A380 became a popular choice for airlines looking to offer their passengers a unique and luxurious travel experience. Airlines such as Emirates, Qantas and Lufthansa all ordered large numbers of A380s to add to their fleets. However, despite its initial success, the A380 program faced significant challenges in the years that followed. One of the biggest challenges was the global financial crisis of 2008, which led to a decline in air travel and a reduction in demand for large aircraft like the A380. The airplane has also faced criticism for its high operating costs, which is said to be due to the high cost of maintaining and servicing the aircraft. The A380 has struggled to find a niche in the aviation market, with some airlines finding it too large and expensive to operate. As a result, Airbus announced in February 2019 that it would be discontinuing production of the A380 after delivering its final batch of aircraft to Emirates Airlines. I said in my press release this morning, it's painful. It is indeed. That's, a, that's an aircraft that we poured a lot of resource, a lot of effort, a lot of sweat into over the years. And uh, we tried hard to, in recent years, to sell additional A380s. But it's like with every product. If you don't find customers anymore, or if you can sell them only below production cost, well, you have to be economical and cease production. And this is what we had to decide. 
The decision was driven by a lack of demand for the aircraft, as well as the high cost of production and ongoing maintenance. Despite its relatively short lifespan, the A380 has left an indelible mark on the aviation industry, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in terms of aircraft size, capacity and technology. Its legacy will continue to be felt for years to come, as airlines and aircraft manufacturers continue to seek new ways to improve efficiency, comfort and profit. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this entertaining and informative. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make aviation and simulation content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.